Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. Since I last uploaded a makeup tutorial, lagi na lang vlog so rin na-upload ko. But since today is a special day, because today is my birthday, I'm 31 years old right now, and gusto ko lang gumawa ng makeup tutorial or get ready with me video as I do my makeup for my birthday today. Um, wala naman kaming plano. We will just eat out um, later and that's it. Pero, I just wanna make it special. Siyempre, kailangan naka-makeup. I decided to make a tutorial for this look. Interested to see if I did this look, please keep on watching. With my fair face, first step for the makeup is primer. I will be using this No Problem Primer. Paubos na siya. Sobrang ganda nitong primer na to. And then, ang naglalagay lang naman ako sa nose part, dito, kasi dito yung malalaking pores ko. Tapos sa forehead and dito sa chin. I-apply ko lang yung primer. Usually, ang ginagawa ko, talagang dinibigyan ko siya sa skin ko. Actually, sa pores ko, ganyan. Para pag nalinagay ko yung foundation mamaya, talagang walang makitang pores as much as possible. After priming, I will be using naman my favorite foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, I'm in the shade 1W1 Bone. Naglagay lang ako ng mga ganyang amount sa back of my hand. And then, I will be applying it here bago ko siya i-blend. Kasi pagka kinuha ko yung sponge eh, dito sa likod ng kamay ko, ang nangyayari, naa-absorb ng sponge agad yung product. So, ganyan muna yung ginagawa ko. And then, I put sa neck part ko. Kasi nung katapos kong mabuntis, twice, para karoon ng mga lines yung leeg ko na dati wala. Kaya linalagyan ko yung mga may itim na lines ng leeg ko. And then, with my real techniques of uh, beauty sponge, I will blend the foundation. Okay. So, dahil extra special tong day na to because sabi ko nga, it's my birthday. Usually, I stop from one coat of foundation. But today, I will be doing two coats of foundation and since I still have acne marks from my pimples, parang kulang pa sa coverage. So, magla maglagay pa tayo ng another layer. Okay, so I'm done with my foundation. The next thing I do is I put concealer sa mga parts na like yung under eye ko, tapos yung mga acne marks, kung, mer kung nakikita pa din. So, what I'm using is this Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade light. So, there. Pag, nat pag natakpan na yung madilim na ano, na nakaraan mo under your eyes, ibibake na natin siya. Nichido Creamy Glow uh, Final Powder to bake. Using my damp sponge. Ganyan lang tayo. And then, dahil I have um, extra oily skin, yung mga natira dito, sinalagay ko na rin on the rest of my face. While baking, ang lagi kong ginagawa is my eyebrows. What I will be using is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Medium Brow. Ito yung binili ko sa Sephora. I'm really thinking na magpa-microblading. And kasi, makapal yung kilay ko dito sa area na to. Pero dito, sa arch, nakalbo siya eh. Tsaka hindi na tumutubo talaga. Kaya, I'm really thinking on getting. Kung yung mga nanonood sa inyo na naka-experience na ng microblading, is it worth it? Kung okay ba siya? Kung worth it ba siya or what? Kasi nakakatamad na gawin yung kilay all the time. Ang bilis sumamig ng kape ko. Anyway, gawin na natin yung kilay natin and I need to focus. Pagkatali yung gusto ko ng maayos na kilay, 
yung talagang plakado, gumamark ako yung ginaganyan ko talaga. Since this is a special day, i-mark natin yung mga dapat i-mark. And then after that, um, I will be using siguro itong bronze, bronze na color, this one. This face, but 
hindi itong mukha na. Ito parang ang payat. Ito hindi. So, contour guys. Um, yung isa namang face natin yung i-contour natin. After contouring, magpa-blush ko na tayo. I will be using my Benefit Dandelion. Gamitin ko na lang yung brush that it came with. What's next um, after blush? Siyempre, hindi mawawala ang highlighter. Especially pagka going to special locations. Ngayon, kami, wala naman kami pupunta ng special location. Kailangan ko lang talagang maging maganda today for my birthday. Kaya pagbigyan ko na. Ngayon ko na lang ulit ito gagamitin uh, may second, uh, second purchase of Becca Champagne Pop. This is with my fan brush. Yun yung ipang-apply ko dito sa highlight na to. sa nose. So, magpo-contour tayo. Ito yung ginagamit kong brush for my nose. The last part is, of course, the lips. Yung gagamitin ko for my lips today is itong Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick. Ng sister ko sa akin. Thank you, ate. Shade nito is Bombshell. I really like this. Kasi para siyang nude na brown. Pero dark brown siya. Tapos, pag ina-apply mo siya, para siyang lasa kong coconut sa lips mo. Parang amoy siyang vacation, amoy siyang tropical coconut, pinya colada, basta something like that. Anyway, i-apply na natin. Ay! Wait! Wait lang pala! Okay na rin pala tayo na lashes para sagad-sagarin na natin for this video. Tapos yung makeup para hindi naman magpulas agad-agad yung makeup. I will set it with my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. Set lang natin yung face natin. Hindi siya sobrang kapal and yet, alam mong may makeup pero sobrang glowing pa rin because of the highlight. See? Ngayon, magpapalit lang ako ng damit and magpapalit lang ako ng nang mabilis na bilis na mabilis na kayo ng LV right back. Um, I tried to curl my hair kaso medyo basa pa siya. Kaya ito muna yung kayang gawin ng hair curler sa hair ko. Pero mamaya ko na lang itutuloy. At nagbiis na ako. Um, I decided to just wear this blue dress. Actually naalala ko ito yung suot ko nung 28 today ko. And inulit ko lang. And this is the finished look ng makeup. Naglagay ako ng lashes. Um, hindi ko alam baka tanggalin ko yung lashes later on kasi masyadong bongga. Hindi ako sanay. Pero for the sake of this video, I added the lashes and super liwanag dito sa, sa playroom. Kaya sorry kung masyadong nawawash out yung ibang color. So, ayan yung finished look ng makeup. Thank you for watching this video. I will try to list all the products that I used. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. And please like and subscribe. Bye! God bless!